girls and guys, it's Presley, and today in this video, it's going to be a little different than the other previous videos that I've published. It, this one is going to be a little bit more serious. I'm going to be talking about delusional people. And what made me think about uploading a video like this is that I was in therapy one day and my therapist and I were talking about delusional people and thinking why they might act the way they do. And I have a few theories. It's almost like their mind has turned against them, you know? Like their mind has become corrupt. Like one day they, they start off as a sweet, innocent, nice person who cares about other people and do sweet things. And then one day a switch is flipped on in their head. And one day they become angry, entitled, and only care about themselves. And it's like their sense of morality has been altered as well. They might, they might not know the difference between what's right and what's wrong. They might think of the opposite on what's right and what's wrong. And there are some Karens out there that might, that might be delusional. They, they're always so entitled and so angry. Not all Karens might be angry, but there are some Karens out there that I've seen on the internet that are always so angry and mad at people for no reason. Like I've never seen a happy Karen it's always got to be angry Karens who are mad at people for no particular reason. Also, one, also another thing. This one has really ticked me off when it comes to delusional people. They like to say offensive slurs. If they ever get mad, some of them might say offensive slurs to other people just to make them mad. Like the n-word or the f-slur. They just like to say those words to other people just to get them irritated or probably cry. No one wants to be called an offensive slur. And some people may think, some delusional people may think that saying offensive slurs is okay because they're quote unquote reclaiming the word. Who thinks of that? Who says in their mind that Oh, saying the N-word is okay because I'm reclaiming it and turning it into something nice. You cannot turn an offensive slur into something completely different. Once you know the backstory but behind these offensive slurs, it's over. There's no way in your own mind that you can convince yourself or to other people that saying offensive slurs is okay and that you can reclaim them. It's over. If you say, if you accidentally say an offensive slur, sure. I mean, it was an accident. Get a little slap on the wrist and never do it again. But if you say it on purpose, it's over. You're done. I mean, you can try to forgive yourself if you feel sympathy for yourself. But if there's some delusional people that don't feel sympathy and just say it with no remorse, no sympathy, and without a care in the world, it's over. You're done. Just just leave. Get out of someone's property. Don't even think about saying offensive slurs if you're just going to hurt their feelings. And there are some people out there who are sensitive to, to offensive slurs. No one wants to be called a slur. Nobody. Some people don't want to be involved with delusional people and just they don't want to be involved with a bunch of Karens. There's some people out there that cry when they hear uh, being when they are being called something offensive. Honestly, I would cry too in real life, but if it's in the if it's on the internet, I wouldn't care. But if it's in real life and if you call me a slur, that's messed up. You need help. My advice to you delusional people is the world doesn't revolve around you. You are not the center of the universe. There are other people out there in this world that need saving. Like there's some people that need help. Some people can care about other people. People need to be saved and to be cared about and be called nice compliments. But that doesn't happen that often because there's a bunch of crazy, delusional, angry, entitled people that care about themselves. All I want delusional people to do 
is hopefully care about other people other than themselves. And maybe, hopefully, in the slightest possible way, get some therapy. Work out your delusions and hopefully the delusions can get out of your brain. You know, like taking out the trash. You know, like you have delusions and you put them in the trash. And then you take out the delusions and put them in a trash bag and throw them away. If you ever go to therapy. I'm hoping you do. And if there's any delusional people that watch this video and thinking, oh, I am not going to listen to her. I'm going to do whatever I want. That's fine. You don't have to listen to me. But what I'm saying is that I want what's best for all of you. All of you delusional people. Not every delusional person, but some people who just don't have a care in the world. You might need to have a care in the world because there's everyone that needs help. Needs saving. Needs some sort of care. And... If you ever need a second thought into thinking, maybe she's right. This video will always be here. It's not going to go anywhere. It'll always be here for you to have like some sort of wake up call or some sort of sense of guidance in a way. I'm trying to help you. I'm not being, I'm not trying to be aggressive in any sort of way. I want to help you get on the right track and make sure that you can try to go back to your old, nice self. That's all I have to say in this week's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Like, comment, share, subscribe, all that jazz. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.